In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, some basic font formatting. Uh, basically, what we're going to look at is the home tab here and the font group. This stuff is all pretty basic. Uh, if you've used many Windows applications, you'll see stuff like this in most Windows applications for doing simple formatting. So this is pretty straightforward stuff. Um, let's say we want to change the font for our headings here. I just go up here to the font name and one of my favorites is Verdana so I'm going to type the letter V to get down to the V part of the alphabet here and choose Verdana and I've just changed the font. If you want to change the font size uh, you can change the font size right here it does a live preview for you. Uh, if you want something like 13 that's not there you can just go up here and type it and you'll get size 13 I'm going to go back to 11 though, like we were before. And it's got a couple of buttons here for increasing and decreasing the font size. We want to increase the font size. And what it does here is it doesn't increase it by one. It increases it to the next option here on the drop down menu. So notice it went from 12 to 14 and I've got decrease. If I go back it should go from 14 to 12 skipping over 13. So it's just doing the numbers that are on the list here. And then I've got bold, and that's a toggle, and the keyboard shortcut is control B. Let's do a control B. Whoops, missed it. Let's do a control B, and control B again. Uh, I is for italic, it's a toggle, let's turn it off. U is for underline. Notice it underlines the word, it does not underline the whole cell that it's in. Let's go back and turn that off. And also now we've got two versions of underline. We can also do a double underline if we want. But again, it's just the contents. It's not the entire cell. Let's uh, turn that off. Whoops, okay, now it's off. Uh, we can also do borders here. And we've got a bunch of default options here. Uh, let's say that I want to take um, my data right here, all of my numbers, and I want to put a thick box around it. Well, here's a thick box border. That'll put it around the outside of whatever I've selected. Um, if I want to have borders all over the place, click on all borders here. And now notice that replaces the thick border I had here before. So if you want thin lines in the middle and a thick border on the outside, you got to do the thin lines first and then write the thick border on top of it. And that's what we'll end up with. And another thing to notice here is if you copy contents of a cell, you also copy the formatting with it. So this had um, a thick line on the right and a thick line on the bottom and a skinny line over here on the left. And so when I copy it down, I get thick lines all the way down on the right, thick lines on the bottom, and skinny lines over here on the left. You can also use, um, and we've got a lot more choices here. If you click on more borders, We've got the ability to change the style of the line over here. And these buttons here around the edges, control, I think you can actually click inside here as well. You can get diagonal lines. See the diagonal buttons got turned on. I can also turn them off by using the buttons. If I want to turn it off, I just click on it a second time. So you can draw what you want your borders to look like over here. You can also change the color of the borders if you want to. And notice they don't change until I've set the color and then I have to click on them. So this gives me a blue border on the top and a black border uh, every place else. Now let's click on OK here. I don't remember what I had selected when I started doing this. I just had the one cell, so it's going to get a blue border all the way around. You can also do some shading in Excel. Um, you know, typically you do this if you want something to stand out. If you want your headings to look different from the rest of uh, your document, we can go here and we can put like a light blue behind these and that makes it obvious that they are not part of the data, but they're the headings. And you can also change the font color. Let's go select all of this stuff. And if you don't want black, uh, you get theme colors that depend on the theme you have selected and you've got standard colors here that are always going to be available. Now there's also, these are the things you do most often. There's also this little dialog box launcher down here in the lower right hand corner for more things. If you click on that, it brings up 
format cells dialog box here and it gives you uh, all kinds of options for numeric formatting but that's up here we'll take a look at that some other time alignment which is in this group right here font which is in this group right here and um, it's pretty much everything that's available on the ribbon up here um, with the exception of these things down here, the strike through and the superscript and the subscript. Uh, otherwise, it looks like everything else is pretty much an option that's up here. And we've got borders, which corresponds to this. And we've got fill, which corresponds to the bucket. And then there's also protection if you want to uh, lock cells and put passwords on them. So that takes care of the font group on the Home tab.